What does a truck driver do on the weekend when she's not working? Well, this one gets into a lot of things. I get tattoo work done. I ride the bikes with my husband. I do rehab work. I work with clients and their horses. And I go to the gym and take care of my own body through some body work. So come along and I'll show you a little bit about what I do in my off time. So this is David Patefield, and he's a good friend of mine and a wonderful tattoo artist here in Cleveland, Tennessee. He has done the majority of my sleeve work on both arms. And here he's working on my hand tattoo. I wanna get both my hands done. And this was the start. Next, I'll show you one of the places that we ride to when James and I go out on the bike and we wanna stay local. We finally got to get out and video a little bit of today's ride. There's Kit and James in the background, his bike Maggie. We're at CBC. This is one of our favorite little haunts. It looks like a hole in the wall, doesn't it? It kind of is, but it's a great little pool hall here in Cleveland, and we can have our cigars. Great food. Guys, great food. It's the best people here at this little pool hall. And again, they have this outdoor seating, good, uh, nice space inside. Uh, stop by here if you're in Cleveland, Tennessee. Here I'm working with a student of mine. I had already ridden, but didn't get any video of that. This is Belle, and she's owned by Aaron a wonderful vet in Hickson, Tennessee, and she is doing beautifully. We're just working on some more relaxation and suppling exercises, and she's doing very well. So every now and then I get a chance to do some rehab work with a wild animal or even a domestic type animal. Two flying squirrel babies were found in one of our friends' helmets in our garage, oddly enough. And I knew the one might not make it. Uh, a little boy, he was much thinner, much smaller, and he did not make it. He lasted about two days. Um, could never get him to go to the bathroom. He tried to eat, but his digestive system just wasn't developing correctly. The little girl did very well. She was very good. I had her about two weeks. She got a lot of energy. She was eating beautifully, but in the end, she too ended up succumbing to digestive issues. It was very hard to deal with her passing because I really had high hopes that she would make it. She had done very, very well. She is very much missed, and I always look forward to the next one to come along. And she is actually the reason why I did not put out a video a couple weeks ago. Her passing just devastated me. It was a honor to get to care for her for those couple weeks. Even the late night feedings every two hours, Bean seemed to really like her. So as a former competitive bodybuilder and fitness model, I still stay very much in the gym trying to get my body back. Admittedly, once I stopped competing, I started eating and uh, kind of got a little farther away from where I need to be. So I am in the process of getting my body back and staying in shape. Plus, as a truck driver, just need to uh, keep that as a priority anyway.
So not only do I work out and train still in the gym, but I also get body work done. I tend to have a lot of neck and back pain. And Rachel Lawler, who is a professor at Lee University here in Cleveland, Tennessee, really does a good job of keeping me moving and mobile. So she is an integral part of my health and program. <music> She sometimes really gets in there and it hurts pretty bad. And then we have a good laugh about it. I always end up feeling amazing and fluid again. Many thanks to Rachel. Thank you, thank you. Well, I hope you liked today's video. It's a little bit about what I do in my spare time and how I get to live. Uh, as we get this house being built, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of those videos as well. So stay tuned. I hope you guys continue to enjoy it. And thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. As I've said before, you, all of you guys have no idea how much you all mean to me. Um, and I am now able to be monetized. So that's kind of a whole new realm for me. And it's a nice start. So I have you guys to thank. You guys did it. And I appreciate you, every one of you. On that note, I'm going to say stay spontaneous.
take a breath, but take no shit.